welcome you back to Newsmax Prime. As you know, J.D. Hayworth is on assignment tonight. But before he left, he interviewed Melanie Morgan, the organizer of Troopathon, which is a fundraiser that benefits our troops deployed around the world. Here is that interview. Uh, we wouldn't enjoy these privileges that we have yeah. uh, of the freedom that we have in this, in this great country. So uh, drawing attention to that and making sure that people don't forget is just the way that I can I, I want to. I want Actor Gary Sinise discussing the importance of supporting our troops abroad during last year's Troopathon. If you're unfamiliar with Troopathon, I have to tell you, it is a month-long fundraiser to send care packages to U.S. troops fighting in Afghanistan. And the official kickoff comes today. Joining us now, the award-winning radio talk show host and hostess of Troopathon, my old uh, San Francisco radio partner, Melanie Morgan. Welcome to Newsmax Prime. J.D., thanks so much. It's wonderful to be here on this Thursday. I'm so excited. Rita Cosby is going to be my co-host this year. You, of course, were my co-host in years past, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to talk about this. In fact, we celebrated my birthday a couple of years ago with you on Troopathon, but we want to get gifts in the hands of our troops, gifts in terms of necessities. What are some of the things our uh, fighting men and women need? Well, here's what we do. This is how the program operates. What we do is we put together care packages with our volunteers out of our headquarters in Sacramento, California. And these care packages are jam full of all kinds of goodies for our troops who are in harm's way in Afghanistan, in Iraq, and uh, now in Africa in a uh, peacekeeping mission over there to help uh, people stricken with Ebola. So these care packages are very much needed and they're filled with all kinds of things like beef, jerky, personal care and comfort items, premium roasted coffee, all of these things that we put together that gives a little taste of home and plus the most important part, J.D., is a personal note from you, the person who donates for that care package. It just reminds all of our troops that we haven't forgotten them, we still have their back, and that we know that their mission is more vitally important now than ever. Now, there's a special reason for that last item, the personal letter from the donor. Have you heard from our troops in the field and what those letters mean to them? Oh, absolutely. We re have received hundreds and hundreds of letters back. You know, we've been at this program now for eight years, and it is really a joy to get the letters back. Um, and I've actually delivered some of these care packages to Iraq myself twice. It's been an amazing experience to see a six foot three Marine, a grown guy with a family cry when he gets these care packages because it reminds him of home, it reminds him of his family, perhaps he's or she is missing. So this is a really huge morale bus booster for all of our troops and that's why we do it. We don't want them to think that just because this war apparently has wound down, although it really hasn't, in fact just yesterday President Obama announced that he's sending 650 more troops back to Iraq. Well, we, we need to make sure that those troops uh, know that they are loved and missed. Now, obviously, the Troopathon asks uh, viewers to, to donate money because money goes to buy the stuff that goes in the packages that go to each of our fighting men and women in the field abroad. But is there another way viewers or interested parties can help out? The best way that they can help us right now as we are going into this summer uh, care package drive is to, to give us a donation, whether it's $50, $100, $150, $100, or maybe if you have $5,000, if you're listening to me or watching me right now on Newsmax, if you could donate $5,000, that would be terrific. All of it kind of adds up, and we've got some really, really fascinating people that we're going to have for you on this eight-hour-long broadcast starting today, and it goes from 4 until 11 Eastern Time. We've got people like Rush Limbaugh and Mark Levin. You all know him, both of them. And we also have some people from Hollywood. For instance, uh, Nancy Grace and Gene Simmons and Hulk Hogan. So many people who have agreed uh, to give us their time, and also many of them are making donations as well. A worthy cause for sure. You can find out more about how you can help. You can just go to Troopathon.org. Again, that is Troopathon.org. Certainly worth your time and attention. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm John Bachman. J.D. Hayworth returns tomorrow night for Prime here on Newsmax TV. I'll see you tomorrow at noon Eastern time. Have a good night.